and the holy martyrs with poor out the Christ upon the earth. Therefore, they have been the everlasting rewards. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. O Lord yes, 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 yes. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. Now, mighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose to manifest the blessed hope of your eternal kingdom by the toll of Saints John de Bobet, Isaac Jokes, and their companions, and by the shedding of their blood, graciously grant that through their intercession the faith of Christians may be strengthened day by day. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law. Through testified to by the law and the prophets, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction. All have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God. They are justified freely by his grace through the redemption of Jesus Christ, whom God set forth as an expiation through faith by his blood to prove his righteousness because of the forgiveness of sins previously committed through the fairborn forbearance of God to prove his righteousness in the present time. And he might be righteous and justify the ones who have faith in Jesus. What occasion is there then for boasting it is ruled out? On what principle that of works? No, rather on the principle of faith. For we consider that a person is justified by faith, apart from the works of the law. Does God belong to the Jews alone? Does he not belong to the Gentiles too? Yet, also to the Gentiles for God is one, and will justify the circumcised on the basis of faith and the uncircumcised through faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. <clears throat> With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, and that you may be revered. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord more than the sentinels wait for the dawn. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom the, your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors. For they killed them and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. 
Woe to you, scholars of the law! You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourselves do not enter, but and you stop those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and the Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about many things, for which they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> In, uh, in our first reading, it's taken from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. And he speaks of faith and he speaks of works. What occasion is there then for boasting? It is ruled out. On what principle? That of works? No, rather, on the principle of faith. And you know, as we live in the Bible Belt, a lot of times you hear people talk about faith, the faith in Jesus, making a profession of faith. And the de-emphasis of works. So we take Paul, emphasize faith, but we skip the book of James, which speaks of faith without works has no power to save one. And I think that is pertinent today as we honor the North American martyrs, Isaac Jokes and John de Beveth and their companions. These were the great Jesuits who came to North America. You know, it's one thing, and they could have stayed in France and been good Jesuits. They could have prayed for the conversion of the native in American Indians. They could have prayed in France in the safety of their monasteries and churches. Well, Lord, we pray that they come and find faith. But without someone who's willing to go, endure the voyage, cross the Atlantic, land in the New World, then go out to the Huron nation to proclaim the gospel, to minister to those who become sick because smallpox runs <clears throat> rampant due to other Europeans who come over and give these diseases to the native peoples. But they're there to take care of them and minister to them to the point where at one point, and this is where their martyrdom takes place, mm -hmm. they are captured by the Iroquois, who are uh, enemies of the Huron, and the Iro in Iroquois brutally, brutally, and that's the key, brutally slay them. Because the Hurons love them. All that being said, where in the world are we at today when it comes to our faith? This idea of not getting your hands <coughs> dirty and really working to save souls. Honestly, what do we talk about nowadays? Climate change? We do a lot of that. We talk a lot about that as Catholics. Uh, what else do we talk about? Inclusivity? Blessing of unions, women's ordination. When do we ever talk about what John de Bouvet and Isaac Jokes gave their life for? The salvation of souls. When do we ever emphasize that? Let us every day focus on that. That is the most important thing is I get someone's soul into heaven. Number one, I get myself into heaven. That's number one. I hate to sound selfish, but we need to get us into heaven. And then number two, what can we do to get others into heaven? Because their soul is so <coughs> precious. Sure, I can provide a better climate. I can provide more opportunity for women. I can bless every union, man and beast alike. 
But if I lose souls, what have I accomplished? Now, mighty God be with you, may bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Lord, Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, primary deacons, and seminarians. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the repose of the soul of Mr. and Miss C.A. Christian, for whom this Mass is being offered today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video and for you here present in our chapel this morning. For all of your needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude asking Mary, the Mother of God, for her help and intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Oh, As we venerate the passion of your martyrs, Isaac Jokes, John de Beveth, and their companions, grant that through this sacrifice, O Lord, we may proclaim worthily the death of your only begotten Son, who, not content with encouraging the martyrs by word, strengthen them likewise by example, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised, their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give order to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sitting down in your street upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the life of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Clear him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the King, and the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I'll leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, in you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Peace. Bill, the Lamb of God, build him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Amen. Our Lamb, not worthy that he should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be Neither death, nor life, nor any created thing will be able to separate us from the love of Christ. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask, O Lord, that by the example of blessed Isaac Jokes, John de Babeth, and their companions, 
who made bare in our hearts the marks of your Son's charity and suffering, and ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. <clears throat> Holy Michael, we are angel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him and help me pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking and burn of souls. Amen. The divine priests. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy night of conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and His angels and His saints.